All right, yeah, for as long as I can remember, there's always been a ton of point guard builds on 2K games. In fact, I'd even make the argument that point guard builds or primary ball handlers far outweigh the makeup of other builds. Do you guys think that 2K just made the game too difficult for ball handlers? Or did 2K23 just expose the lack of IQ for running the PG position for most 2K23 players? I've only seen like a handful of fairly decent or half decent type of point guard builds out there this year where in previous versions of 2k you constantly ran into goaded pg primary ball handler type of players now i know a lot of folks are like well 2k23 has a hell of a learning curve with the shot timing fluctuations and those pesky adrenaline bars i think 2k23 put it all on the line and basically said if you guys lack iq you will be exposed in 2k23 and i gotta keep it a buck i honestly thought Thought that the 2k community was gonna rise to the occasion but it seems that when 2k took the left right cheese or the tremendous speed that most point guard builds had over defenders in previous versions of 2k and forced a lot of primary ball handlers to revert back to iq most players just collapsed I'm curious to know, what do you guys think about the point guard builds that you're running into? When you go out there in the rec center, what do you see in these point guard builds? What would be your argument to make players better? Y'all be sure to sound off in the comment section below. I'm definitely curious about your feedback. And 2K23 is a lot harder to be a dog out there. And I'm wondering if most players just tuck their tail. Now I've been hosting a ton of tryouts in our Discord community. If you guys are not familiar with Discord and you're looking for players to run with, consider joining the link for discord will be in the description below but this year i've been working very hard on gathering players with good enough iq and trying to put them together which is why we created the lunatics a ton of verified players who have gone through all the tryouts and motions and it seems like a good majority of players are either two through five but man i tell you when i call for that one position all you hear is crickets and this is not to dismiss the idea that we had a bunch of people try out for the PG position, but for the sake of all of the other verified players on the Lunatics, the PGs and the leaders of the offense need to show and prove that they could lead the way and have the foundation of IQ at their disposal to win games. If you feel that you're a good point guard, come on out and try out for the Lunatics because a ton of our players from the two to five position really need leaders out there. Them leaders that understand basic basketball principles, basic basketball IQ. Players that don't just try to beat the defenders, but try to beat the defense. I'll be hosting tryouts today. So if you feel like you're a goaded PG or you're a dog out there, and you're just lacking the team around you, come on out and try out. It all takes place in our Discord. Unfortunately, from what I've experienced so far, watching a ton of PGs out there and don't get it twisted, y'all. We run with one of the best point guards on 2K23 in All City Tron, a true leader that conducts the offense. But some of the things that I've noticed from a ton of other people watching these PGs is that most primary ball handlers in 2K23 just don't seem to pass with a purpose or set up a play, let alone communication. Oh my God. Imagine being at the PG position and not communicating with your teammates. It seems communication in itself is a lost art. And now that a lot of primary ball handlers can't perform or create their opportunity for open shots, their lack of communication and lack of IQ seems to have this just real bright light shed on them. I can't tell you how many times I've seen PGs try out and can't even call like a backdoor cut. And oftentimes setting up a backdoor cut, they don't even put themselves in proper angle to make the right pass. A pass that leads your finisher to finish. Simple plays like calling a hash cut and dotting the corner far eludes a ton of PGs on 2K23. And trust and believe, I'm not saying this because me personally, I can execute at the PG position. It's really tough, but that's not to say that I'm not fitting a try out there. I brought my 6'1 guard out to the rec center yesterday and oh my God, it was a nightmare. That's as far as shooting is concerned and knocking down the shots. Cause I personally will always have my IQ to fall back on. So even if we're behind in the game, I can use my IQ and breaking down the defense to help bring us back. The 2K dev set in 2K23, we're limiting 
seeing the PG position more so than we've ever done in the past. But there's no excuses here. That's not to say that you point guards don't have all the tools you need to win games. But are you guys out there using all the tools you have? Or did 2K23 find out that your tool bag is empty? I'm personally going to continue working very hard to find a ton more point guards to add to our lunatics within our discord but considering that point guards are so far and few in between during this time i'm gonna work on developing my pg skills one of my biggest problems is like shot selection and knocking down that shot when i'm wide open i would love for you guys to take the journey with me down this pg road i will be showcasing my new 6-1 build in our next live stream a little later on this afternoon so y'all be sure to come on out and join us and if you guys got tips to help me become a better point guard out there definitely sound off in the comment section below and try to keep it a buck with me if you felt in 2k23 that the pg position is too difficult and it kind of turned you off from the whole experience sound off let me know why you found it difficult and if you're going crazy on 2k23 definitely leave some of your tips in the comment section because you could probably not only help me you could help a ton of other people watching this video i just wanted to take this time to connect with y'all give you an update on what's going on here thank you so much for tuning in keep it locked right here at all city live tv because we got a bunch more nba 2k23 news information and updates coming your way drop a like drop a sub on your way out i'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream easy y'all